Shalom, Shalom. Who are we? We are the Hebrew Israelites. And we come to prophesy the downfall of this place. Especially to the people in the Adam. The children of Israel in captivity, man. My brother just wrote might, read mighty in the spirit to say that the people who touch it, the heavenly father children, which is the apple of his eye, judgment is coming to those people, man. That's right. And he's going to raise up his children from out of the dust that they've been in and let them know that they are the chosen of the Lord, man. But before we do that, we have a glorify the heavenly father. And we have a set, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya will shine. Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya will shine. I'm mighty well up. Shalawah. Come, Yashwala. Come, Yashwala. So the Lord is bringing down the ruckus on the people. We can see all around the world the judgment that the Lord is bringing on the nations. The Bay, which is a hot place, is in the desert. And the Lord bring flooding for drown out the people there. Because those people was the people them who came against us with the other nations. So the Lord is sending judgment on the people. The people that my brother just read has been living deliciously off of the enslavement of the children of Israel. Get me Obadiah 1. Precept. Read the precept. Job. Job 18 verse 5. Yes. Yeah. The light of the wicked shall be put out. And the light of the wicked shall be put out. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. The, 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 read that back again. Read that back from the top. Lord Almighty, man. Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out. You see, this is scripture. What the Lord is telling the children of Israel. The light of the wicked shall be put out, man. That's right. Read on. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. The what? The spark of his fire shall not shine. The Lord's going to point you in darkness, man. No more shining for you. No more living deliciously. Because you touch the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Which is the children of Israel. You touch his people and think there's no re repercussions. The Lord is bringing ruckus on the earth, man. You watch the TV, you can see morning, noon, and night. All the judgment that the Lord is visiting the earth. That's right. Read Obadiah, man. This is the book of Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah does say the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Read. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. What? We yeah, have heard a rumor from the Lord. Read. And an ambassador is sent among the Eden. Right. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Right. right. And this is what the Lord is telling the Edomites, man. We are going to rise up against you in battle because that's what you did to his children, man. You can't be touching the children of the Mosai and think that nothing's going to happen. The Lord's got judgments in the Bible for the Edomites. Read on. Verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the Edens. Right. Thou art greatly despised. Everybody don't like him. That's right. Because he walk up and down and pillage the place, man. He's the wicked of the earth. That's why nobody don't like him. He thief, rob, steal, and take what people thinks. That's right. He go in people country, take their resources, and say it's his. Take all their artifacts and bring it to his place and say it's his. He's a thief and a liar. We done. <laughs> Verse 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Right. Thou and this is what happened. They're prideful and it deceived them because the Lord has made them live delicious and they haven't been touched. But the Lord is sending judgment for them, man. Hold that there. Who's got a precept? You got a precept. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 yeah. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him what? His soul no, that is lifted, lifted up, up is not, not upright, upright in, him, in him But the just shall live by his faith But the just shall live by our faith Because we have faith that the Lord is going to destroy them That's right For the children of Israel man We have faith that the Lord is coming for his children That's right To rise them apart of the dust 
Read the precept. Isaiah 49 and 26. And I will feed them that oppress thee. With you their, what? I will feed with them that, that oppress thee. thee. With their own flesh. With their what? With, with their, their own, own flesh. flesh. This is the Lord speaking, man. Hold the line of the love, everybody. If you want to feed people with their own flesh, man. That's right. Read on. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. What? And, and they, they shall be drunken with, with their, their own, own blood. blood. That's why they're a vampire, man. The Lord are going to make them drink their own blood. That's, That's right. right. Read on. As sweet wine. As what? As, As sweet, sweet wine. wine. Read. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord. And everybody going to know that he's the God of the Israelites. That's uh, right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not everybody is the God of Israel, man. Read on. Thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. The mighty one of what? The mighty Jacob. one of Jacob. He's the mighty one of Jacob. That's right. He's the rescuer of the Israelites, man. That's right. Wake him up. Go back to Obadiah. Obadiah, verse 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. What? Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock. That's the real cave, man. God. They're living at the rock, man. They're the ones that <laughs> destroy the people of the children of Israel. They're living on the cliff of the rock. Read on. Whose habitation is high. Who's what? Whose habitation is high. That's why them love living at the penthouse and the skyscraper them. God. Those people who can afford that, them are the wicked. That's right. They live in the sky, man. Read on. That sight in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground? And this is how they're prideful, man. Because they got a little change. Them say, who can bring me down? Because they think their money is going to save them. But the Lord is going to bring them down by the hand of the children of Israel, man. Oh. Read on. Verse 4. Thou that exalted thyself as the eagle right. and thou thy, and thou, thou set thy nest among the stars and that's what they do every minute they want go on the moon every minute they want star gaze right. they set their nest amongst the stars man read on thence will I bring thee down say the Lord what? Thence. thence will I bring thee down say the Lord the Lord is going to bring them down man so your pride have to come down. That's right. Come off of your high horse. The Lord's going to bring you down. Well, I saw we all read scripture, you know. The scriptures is telling the children of Israel, have faith. Come, right. I'm coming for you. Read on. Verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they have had enough? You see? The Lord has said, if thieves did come in at the night, when them have enough, them would have taken with themselves. But what? Read on. If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not have leave some grapes? You see, all the grape gatherers, they would have left a little grape for somebody else to eat. But what? Slacker. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his it things sought out? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee right. and prevailed against thee. No people was at peace with them and they come and deceive them and take with them things. They speak smooth with their words. Get me that in Psalms. Them words smooth like butter and fool up the people and deceive them read on they that eat the bread have laid a wound under thee right there is none understanding in him there's no understanding in the Edomites they don't understand that if you touch the Lord people you have to get recompense man that's why they're so prideful because they think they can do all this wickedness and they just get away with it and tell people it was a long time ago so forget about that. But the Lord said, remember the days of old. That's man. right. And we're going to remember. And we're going to bring scripture out to give them their judgment. Read on. Verse 8. Shall I not in, the, in that day, say the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? Uh, where? Out of Edom. The Lord said, he might going to destroy the wise man that can go around the place 
robbing and stealing, thieving people things to make themselves rich. Those are the wise men of Edom. And the Lord said, I'm going to destroy them. Read on. And understanding out of the mouth of Esau. And understanding out of the mouth of Esau. That's why they don't understand that there's a judgment coming for them. That's why they don't understand that if he that lead it into captivity must go into captivity. He don't understand them things. When we tell him says judgment is in the Bible, he would never understand it, man. Read on. Verse 9. And thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off and by maybe slaughter. What? Maybe what? May be cut off by slaughter. Every one of the Mount of Esau shall be cut off by slaughter. Oh, that day. Get back to Isaiah. Prepare slaughter for his children, man. 14 and is it 21? The Lord said, He might go cut them off by slaughter, man. This is the people who touch the children of Israel. This is scriptural. This is not hate. This is reading what the Bible says. But the Esau don't have no understanding that this is what the Lord has got set up for him. Because he's going to destroy them out of the earth, man. That's right. Because you don't leave cancer in, in your body. You have to get rid of it. You can't leave some because it will start growing again. So the Lord says he's going to cut them off. Copy a slaughter. Read that. Isaiah 55 verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. You see? The Lord said prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of his fathers. Because they've been destroying the Israelites. They've had us in captivity. They thief everything of ours and say of them invented. Right. This is the things that the wickedness that they do, man. Read that. Sirach chapter 11 verse 28. Right. Judge none blessed before his death. What? Judge none blessed before his death. Right. For a man shall be known in his children. A man shall what? A man shall be known in his children. Because that's why you have to cut them off. A man's going to know in his children because they've been wicked and that's all they do. The man drunk up in his kingdom and he's at the bottom. That's a two-time loser, man. He's supposed to be big in his kingdom but he's a vagabond walking the earth. The Lord has made him that way. But this is why they're prideful because the man is on the bottom. The man with step on the ground and he's still proud. He's still a walk around in, in a big man face. But we're reading judgment for him. That's why the wicked spirit don't like what we're reading. That's why he sent this devil to come round with to take away the word, man. Read on. Read your precept. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 73. Hey, move off from move off from around here, man. Move off from around here. Move up from around here with no teeth. Book of Psalms, chapter 73 and verse 3. Sorry, verse like a verse 5. They are not in trouble as other men. Right, and that's what happened. They're not in trouble like other men. Because they're so prideful, man. Read on. Neither are they plagued like other men. Right. Therefore, pride compasses them as a chain. Right. And they wear pride around their neck like a chain, man. That's right. And they're too prideful. But the Lord is bringing them down. That's why I'm jacking him up and take away teeth, man. God. Mr. Gummy Beer. God. That's what he named. Read on. Violence cover them as a garment. Violence cover them as a garment. Read on. Their eyes stand with stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Look, they said they have more than heart could wish, but this little vagabond ain't got no more than his heart could wish. He might wish for some tea. Read on. They are corrupt. They are what? They are corrupt. Read on. And speak wickedly concerning oppression. And this is what's happening. We're telling him about the oppression that his people has done. And he's speaking wickedly, man. 
Christ. We don't have nowhere for God. That's why I'm saying they're vagabonds walking the earth. That's right. We don't. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. Right, and that's what he's doing. The tongue walking through the earth, talking foolishness, man. Read, read on. Therefore, his people return hither, and waters of full cup are wrung out of them. Right. The Lord will pull up them cup and make them drink, man. Go back to Ivan Obadiah. You know what, yeah? This is Obadiah. Verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. For what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Read. Shame shall cover thee. Shame shall cover thee, man. It's shameful for this man to be out here with no tea talking to the Israelites. Read on. And thou shalt be cut off forever. And what? And thou shalt be cut off forever. That's why the man is a vagabond. Because the Lord cut him off. Even from his own people. Read on. Right. Verse 11, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that strangers carried away captive his forces and for, for foreigners entered into his gates. Right, and that's what happened. Foreigners entered into his gates, man. They are going to destroy them. And that's what's happening now. The people them is entering into their gates. Read on. And cast lots upon Jerusalem. And what? And, and cast lots upon Jerusalem. And that's what they're doing. They're trying to divide up our place. And casting lots for them. Right. Read on. Even thou was as one of them. Verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on on the day that thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Right. Neither should they stop have rejoice over the children of Judah right. in and the that's day what, of their destruction. And that's what they was doing. They was rejoicing when they are calamity come upon us right. and saying, bless, because we're rich, because we take the children of the Heavenly Father into our hands and then capitalize on us, man. We build up their place. We make them rich. Read on. Neither should they stop have spoken proudly in the day of distress. And you see, when did we get distress? They was talking proudly. Read on. Verse 13. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of, of my people. What? Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people. The Lord is telling you, know, it's a wrong thing you know, to do to enter into the gates of my people, man. The children of Israel. Read on. In the day of their captivity, yea, thou shouldest not have looked on on their affliction right. in the day of their calamity, right. nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. You see, they laid hands on our substance, man. They carried away our gold, our silver, take away everything where we have. That's right. They laid hands on it and took it to their place. Because they know that we are the richest things in the world, man. Read on. Verse 14. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossways to cut off those of his, of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. Right, and that's what happened. They cut us off so we couldn't go nowhere, man. They saw that we was falling and they didn't know one helped us. So the Lord, I tell them, through your trouble is children, watch what's going to happen. Read on. Verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the Edens. What? For, For the day, day of the Lord, Lord is near upon all, all the Edens. The Lord said, when the day is coming, man. <laughs> and that's why the wars are going on around the world. It's that on the doorstep, man. That's why the people them free it. You don't see the judgments that the Lord is sending on the earth. The earthquakes, the floods, the lightning, thunder. Also, a calamity is coming upon you now. That's right. Read on. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. What? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. So what my brother read, getting fed to alligators, it's going to be done unto you, man. 
getting beat down, it's going to get done unto you. Your back's getting whipped. It's going to be done unto you, man. All the wickedness you don't do, it's going to be done unto you. Read on. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Right. For as he was drunk upon my holy mountain. Right, so and that's what they did. They get drunk upon the Lord holy mountain and rejoice in our demise, man. Read on. So shall all thy so shall all the even continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And you hear what I'm saying? He never says some of the heathen. He said all of them. So that's why when people said, but everybody wasn't bad, we don't care. It said, all I know, I got drink. Read. Shall drink continually and shall surely and shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. Right. You see, the Lord said, it coming like you never born, man. Coming like you, you, you never exist. Because you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. People don't believe that. Watch the boy here. People don't believe that he, he, he's going to do them thing here. Read on. Can I ask you a favor, please? Read on. For, uh, uh, you know for he shall jump and up on all the holy mountains, like and all the heathen shall slack you. Yeah, Verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. That, uh, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Right. Deliverance right. for the children of Israel. But right. all of the heathen is going to get punished, and they're going to drink of the cup. And they're gonna get unto them what they done unto us. Read on. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. You see, the house of Jacob is gonna possess their possessions, man. So all them, them think them have and storing up. The Lord said we are gonna possess it, so you can store it up a little bit more. We're coming for it, man, because it belongs to us. He made the world for our sake. Second Ezra six. And 56. Read on. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. What? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. The house of Jacob is going to be a fire. Because we are going to burn them down. Read on. And the house of Joseph a flame. Right. And the house of Esau. The house of what? And the house of Esau a stumble. So the Lord is going to burn them. And make them stumble, man. Read on. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And what? And then they shall kindle in them and devour them. You're going to get devoured like you try to devour us. But through the Lord had mercy on us, he saved the remnant. You couldn't kill me off if you wanted to. Because the Lord saved the remnant of the children of Israel so that we can multiply and deal with them like I want to deal with us, man. That's right. Read on. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, they for will. the Lord has spoken it. There should be what? And there shall be not, not any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. I said it. For the Lord has spoken it. Yakaza said it. For the Lord has spoken it. Yamanakai said it. For the Lord has spoken it. Barak said it. For the Lord has spoken it. Yasharala said it. For the Lord has spoken it. Shawab said it. For the Lord has spoken it. Matataz said it. For the Lord has spoken it. We never say it. And the Lord spoke it, man. That there should be not any remaining on the house of Esau. Read on. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. And, and they shall, and they of the plain of the Philistines, of the Philistines. And they shall possess the field of Ephraim. All right. And we going to possess everything. Because the Lord was made, I told you, the world was made for our sake. That's it on that, brother. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 56. As for the other people, which which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are not fifty-five. Second Ezra chapter six and fifty-five. All this have I spoken before thee, before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, for our sakes. So the Lord made the world for our sake. That's why they have to bring back our riches, man. 
That's right. Because the Lord built the world for our sake. That means that everything in the world, all the gold, all the riches belong to the children of Israel. Right. And just the other nation, thief it went. When we was getting destroyed, they took our things. But the Lord said, we're going to possess it back. That's right. And this is what we're waiting for. That's right. Read the precept. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. Bring it up. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. What? It shall it's not return unto, unto me void. void. So when the Lord is telling us that we're going to possess everything and he build the world for our sake, it's not going to return and destroy Esau. It's not going to return void, man. That's right. And we've just read, it's the Lord saying it, not us. We're reading scriptures. But pastor don't want to read them thing here. Pastor don't tell people that there's a recompense, recompense for the people that done wickedly to the Lord's children. He's not going to tell them that because he's a deceiver. Just like the, the, the Edomites them. They deceive the people and tell them one thing when it don't go so. They wonder. But it shall accomplish that which I please. But it shall accomplish that which I please. The Lord said it shall accomplish. Because if he said there's not going to be any remaining of the house of Esau, that's what's going to happen, man. I wouldn't want to be Esau. <laughs> Read the precept. This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 19. Because he had oppressed and had fors forsaken the poor, because he had violently taken away a house which he built it not. Yeah, and that's what he done. He violently took away our things, man. He never built this place. He never built America, where, where the natives were. He violently took it away. That's right. Read on. Surely he shall not fuck slack here. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. You see? The Lord said, surely, not maybe, surely. He's not going to feel quietness in our belly. Read on. He shall not save of that which he desired. <laughs> there shall none of his meat be left. Therefore, none. shall no man look for his goods. Right. No man's going to be looking for his goods because the Lord's going to destroy it. Right. And what's left, we are going to take it. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, we are going to possess them and our goods. Read on. Is that it? Read more, man. Verse 22 In the fullness of his sufficiency He shall be in strength Every hand of the wicked Shall come upon him when Every hand of the wicked So all in front of them Are going to come upon him man That's right. Read on When he is about to fill his belly Yahweh shall cause the fury Of his wrath upon him Right. No more filling your belly man That's right. The wrath of the heavenly fathers Wrath is going to come upon you, man. No more delicious living. No more robbing and stealing. No more telling lies. Read on. And shall rain it upon him while he's eating. While what? While he's eating. So he's going to choke. That's right. Chew up everything where he take. Read on. He shall flee from the iron weapon. And the bow of the steel shall strike him through. You see, they're going to run up and down like headless chicken, man. He's going to be fleeing from the weapons of war. Everything are going to strike him through. This is the judgment of the people and that touch the children of the Heavenly Father, man. He's playing upon tables. How comes the pastor don't read these scriptures? Where are these scriptures are in the church? They can't find them, but they know so they're dead, eh? But they won't read it. Read on. Verse 25. It is drawn and cometh out of the body, yet the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terror are upon him. What? Terror, terror are upon him. him. Do what? Terror, terror are upon him. him. Terror. So we have to terrorize the people them that trouble the children of Israel. Oh. This is what the Lord is saying. How is he a wonderful, all-loving, merciful God if he's telling people, say, he might go trust on the truth. He might go set fire to honor. Right. He's loving and merciful to Israel. That's, right. That's what he is. Read on. Verse 26. Uh, the all darkness shall be hid in his secret places. 
a fire not blown shall consume him. You see, even Elam, I try to follow with way, man. Even Elam, I walk up and down and dress like the children of Israel. That's right. Because Elam, no. Look, Elam, the rock. Culture, culture. Read on. Verse 27. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity. What? The heaven, heaven shall, shall reveal his iniquity. iniquity. So you can't hide, man. That's the right. Lord is going to reveal your iniquity, your sin right. that you've done to his children. Read on. And the earth shall rise up against him. All the nations is going to rise up against him because he's the wicked of the earth, man. The Lord is going to destroy him. Read on. The increase of his house shall depart. What? And the increase of his house shall depart. All of the money, all of the goods and riches that you took is going to depart from you. And you don't know what to do without your riches because you just said to the Lord, depart from me because you're rich. So what are you going to do when the Lord depart? Nothing but look for crumbs. Look for salvation. What the Lord said, you're not getting none. There's none for you. Read on. And his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. You see, all your goods is going to flow away, man. And you are nothing without your goods, man. That's right. Because you rock, steal, and pillage. And right. tell people that you've done it by good business. No, you've done it by good TV. <laughs> uh, Read on. Verse 29. This is the portion of the wicked man from Yahweh and his heritage appointed unto him. By Yahweh. This is their heritage appointed unto them from Hawah, Heavenly Father. Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Now, this is the judgment coming to the other nations, especially the Edomite, them who trouble the children of Israel, man. That's right. This is the judgment that the Lord set for them in other scriptures. And we have to read these scriptures and realize the Lord ain't slack. When he says things are going to happen to the people who trouble you. So come back to the laws. Come back to the statues. We've got a feast day today that we're going to keep. So we're keeping the ordinances of the Lord, man. And with that, we're going to close out, take away myself, and going to keep a Passover. Because we're being obedient unto the Lord, man. That's right. But we are going to say, Brokatiah Hawa, Brokatiah Oshai, Brokatiah Hawa. Rock and tie our shine, and money weather shall the war. Come, Yeshua, come, Yeshua. All honor and glory unto the Messiah. How am I? Shema Mashiach, our shine.